Hi everyone, I thought it was time for us to introduce our 3D shape songs. So as you know, we've been learning about 2D shapes for most of the year, but we started learning about 3D shapes. And 3D shapes are the ones with more than one side, you can hold them in your hand, you can't really draw them, they're definitely not flat. Most things in our house and our classroom are made of 3D shapes, you can hold them. Um, so most things around us are made of 3D shapes. So there's some songs, they're really fun that go along with each 3D shape to kind of help us remember. They give us a clue about what the shape looks like to help us remember the names of each 3D shape. So they all start the same way. You see the name of the shape and then what's your clue. So for example, if we're doing a sphere, we say sphere, sphere, what's your clue? Now there's little dance moves that go along with each one. So I like to stand and do them. You can sit and do them, but I think it's a lot more fun and a lot easier if you stand. So our first 3D shape we're going to work with is a sphere. Now a sphere looks just like a ball, right? And then we all know what a soccer ball looks like. It's the bl um, black and white one that you kick around and it's the same shape as a sphere. So the song for a sphere goes, sphere, sphere, what's your clue? You look like a soccer ball I kick with my shoe. And you can give it a little kick. So let's try that together. Sphere, sphere, what's your clue? You look like a soccer ball I kick with my shoe. Great job, let's try another one. Here we have a cylinder. Now a cylinder looks kind of like a can. And if you've ever seen a can of soup, um, it looks just like this shape, but probably a little bit bigger. And you open the top and pour the soup out. So the one for this is going to be a can of chicken noodle soup. And at the end we say yum yum. Last year my class didn't like chicken noodle soup, they liked tomato soup. So you can change it to any type of soup you want, but I'm gonna sing chicken soup. Chicken noodle soup, ready? Cylinder, cylinder, what's your clue? You look like a can of chicken noodle soup. Yum, yum. Let's try that one more time. Cylinder, cylinder, what's your clue? You look like a can of chicken noodle soup. Yum, yum. Great job, let's move on. Here we have a pyramid. This is one of my favorite ones. The pyramid looks like this. Now if you've ever seen like mummies or pharaohs in Egypt, they live in big, 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 tall, triangular looking buildings that are called pyramids. If you don't know what they are, look up a picture. Ask mom or dad or someone older than you to Google a picture of pyramids to show you. So the people in Egypt are called Egyptians, and that's where the pyramids are, and they look just like this. They're very, very tall, goldish yellow looking buildings. So for this one, we say, pyramid, pyramid, what's your clue? You look like the house the Egyptians walk through. So Egyptians kind of usually dance like this in old books and movies, so we do that. So let's try that together. Pyramid, pyramid, What's your clue? You look like the house the Egyptians walk through. Excellent. That's a fun one. Let's take a look at a cube. Now a cube could go for a lot of things, right? A box, but I like to think of an ice cube because it has the word cube in it. So an ice cube goes in cold drinks, right? So if we want to rhyme it, because most of these songs rhyme, we're going to go with Mountain Dew. If you've never had Mountain Dew, it's a type of soda. So it's just a name of a soda, like Sprite or Coke, but it rhymes. So that's why we use Mountain Dew. So this one goes, cube, cube, what's your clue? You look like the ice I put in my Mountain Dew. This is my cup and I'm putting my ice in. Let's try it together, ready? Cube, cube, what's your clue? You look like the ice I put in my Mountain Dew. Awesome. We have a few more. Here we have a cone. Now it could look like a party hat, but for our song, it is going to be an ice cream cone. I love ice cream. I know most of you do too. So this one goes, cone, cone, what's your clue? Don't let the ice cream drip on you. Because we don't want it to melt and drip on our clothes, right? So let's try that together. Cone, cone, what's your clue? Don't let the ice cream drip on you. Excellent job. I'm gonna have our last one. One of my favorites and usually, oh sorry, 
and usually the student's favorite. That was just my sphere rolling away. This is a rectangular prism. I know that's really hard to say. It's two pretty big words, um, but it kind of looks like another type of box, a little bit different than a cube. To me, it kind of looks like a tissue box. Imagine if it had a tissue coming up, it would look just like a tissue box. So for this one, we say rectangular prism. What's your clue? You look like a tissue box. I sneeze at you. So you sneeze at the end. Of course, we always sneeze into our elbow, right? We're practicing healthy habits. So we just pretend to sneeze and cover it with our elbow at the end. Let's try it together. Rectangular prism. What's your clue? You look like a tissue box. I sneeze at you. Excellent job. I'm going to leave this up on YouTube and Google Classroom so you can practice them whenever you want. Of course, you can always make up your own if you find other things, but those are really fun and I love the dance moves and they rhyme, so they really, really help us remember what they look like. So go ahead and keep practicing your 3D shapes and have a great day.